I hope that tomorrow we can all, wherever we are, join in expressing our grief at Diana's loss and gratitude for her all too short life. It is a chance to show to the whole world the British nation united in grief and respect. May those who died rest in peace and may we, each and every one of us, thank God for someone who made many, many people happy. Stay with us now as we begin our coverage live from London of Diana's funeral, farewell to a princess. I'm Ross Simons. Tracy Chalanor and Pat Welsh. This is Seven Nightly News. So what I say to you now, as your queen and as a grandmother, I say from my heart, I admired and respected her, for her energy and commitment to others. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. Good evening, Tracy Chalanor in Brisbane. And good evening from Frank Warwick at Buckingham Palace in London. In just under 40 minutes from now, the longest, final and saddest journey of the People's Princess will begin. Her funeral cortege with the coffin of Diana, covered with the royal standard, will leave Kensington Palace and travel in slow and sombre procession to Westminster. 130 pins over.